So if you want to stick around for that, that'll be great as well. But right now, I have on the phone with me here, and I hope I got this right, I got Dave, I got Fernie, and I got Joe from the band Mud River. And uh, these guys are former Triple Threat Match champions. In fact, tonight is kind of like Triple Threat Match Championship Night because we just finished the, we just finished the Triple Threat Match with Herebree Dragons uh, winning uh, again for another week. Uh, Mud River was a multiple champion. Later on tonight, we got Mad Cap Eye, another multiple champion. But first, guys, I just want to say welcome to the show. Uh, good to finally catch up with you guys. Thank you, man. It's been a while that we talked. But- <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has been, it has been. And uh, we've been trying to set this up for a while, but uh, we're glad that we finally got you guys locked in here and, uh, and on the program. So uh, the first question I just want to have, obviously, you know, for people that, um, you know, obviously follow the Triple Threat match, have, have heard your music, obviously uh, uh, the song Never Letting Go was the one main song that was played during the Triple Threat match. We're going to be playing another track uh, from you guys here uh, immediately following the interview. Uh, but kind of tell everyone that's probably not familiar with the band other than the songs. Uh, tell us a little bit. Give us a quick synopsis of, of the band Mud River. Well, man, what can I tell you, man? We've been we've been up and down, left and right, man. But uh, we're still going to kick it. Uh, we recently, you know, we had to uh, we had to let go of a member, man. That wasn't easy. But uh, now, you know, we're writing new material. And uh, we think you have new uh, plans to do in the future. Um, we're getting uh, sponsors and endorsements. It's uh, it's going pretty pretty good, you know, at a small pace. But once we uh, once we get back up, it's going to be uh, fun again. It's going to be awesome. Okay, very cool. And it looked like uh, when I was checking some stuff out on Facebook, look at you guys have some some stuff you're doing as far as getting on the road and doing some little. Little spots uh, as far as uh, you guys are in the Laredo, Texas uh, area, but uh, you guys are kind of hitting a lot of spots in the state of Texas. Uh, kind of tell us about how how you're pulling that together and uh, and hitting the road for that. Well, business matters is Joe, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, man. go ahead. <laughs> we're just trying to um, um, the, the, uh, the most people to hear our songs and. We're going all the way up to San Angelo and Lubbock. Um, we just did a show in New Mexico last month, which was great. Um, people really responded great to the music, and, you know, we're just doing our best to get our music out there. Okay, very cool. And uh, for those who are just jumping on here, we are speaking from the boys in Mud River, uh, former Triple Threat Match champions. Uh, now I was checking out, uh, you know, obviously I go in here and check out, you know, what the band says they sound like and stuff like that. Uh, your influences are everything from Disturbed to Rage to Corn to Chevelle, Rush, and so on. Uh, and you can kind of catch that when you're you're listening to the music and stuff. But kind of kind of tell us a little bit about how you guys get together, songwriting, putting the music together for for the tracks that you have. Well, um, we basically just explored one way of doing it. Uh, as far as, you know, just uh, having a riff being written by, uh, you know, the guitar and then coming in and jamming it with the, you know, with the drum of the fun and just uh, recording it raw and then just coming in and just recording vocals over it. Joe usually will help me with the uh, with the lyrics and I'll just kick in and just kind of go with feelings. And uh, it's uh, now I think it's going to, you know, we're going to explore more... Uh, more ways of uh, doing music since uh, you know Joe's a teacher during the day, <laughs> rocker by night. Bernie's always doing <laughs> all kinds of weird works everywhere, and uh, you know I'm just got a job. So now it's it's more you know we're turning to technology and you know the the way it's so easy to record something now and just send it over to the next guy and have him just jam it out and record something back and send it back. Yeah, and. and- yeah, and I agree with you there. It's it's very uh, very cool. Obviously, the uh, you know the way technology is now, and we've even seen I've even seen bands that don't even live in the same state, you know, kind of doing it where you know one guy's doing his tracks can send the tracks to somebody else. You know, they do their thing with it, and they just kind of collaborate that way. I mean, it's it's kind of crazy how 
how uh, you can kind of do stuff as as a group, and then you know, and these are bands that get together eventually. They go out and tour, and then they go back and 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 do their other little things. But uh, you know, obviously, you guys have your you know, you guys have your own you know stuff you're doing the, during the day. It's very cool, you know, teacher by day, rocker by night. So uh, very cool there. Um, but uh, obviously, you guys have got you know, and the, what you've already said here as far as some different things, as far as endorsements and some other opportunities that are coming along the way uh obviously this is a, this is a great thing uh and obviously helps the band reach a, a another uh you know uh, even more of an audience than maybe what you already have today um what do you attribute some of your successes to like what are you guys as far as your you know as far as being in this band uh, you know what is it? What does it mean to you guys when you start seeing some of these uh, these small successes that are that are starting to you know to come around for uh, for the band? <laughs> Back to um, family, family. Everybody's family is so supportive. Uh, I think that's that's the biggest help uh, that we've gotten. And uh, Bernie has actually you know does most of that work. You know all that foot, footwork along with you know. You can tell you more about the business side, like I said. <laughs> Very cool. And for those just jumping in here, we're speaking to Mud River. You can check them out, ReverbNation.com slash MudRiverTX, or you can go to Facebook.com slash MudRiver3. Um, so uh, kind of tell us a little bit. We'll, we'll go through an influence question, uh, which I always throw out there, and, and for each one of you guys, you can answer it uh, individually. Uh, give me the first person whether that was a musician a band whoever it was who was the first person that did it for you that you said this is what i want to do i want to be a songwriter i want to learn to play an instrument i want to be on stage i want to be a band who was who was that first artist or or band that did that for you guys individually joe <laughs> yeah yes uh for me it was listening to nirvana's nevermind um Hearing those songs and hearing Chris Novoselic's uh, bass lines, the tone he has on that bass is, oh man, that you know, that blew my my mind away. Listening to those songs and and then exploring other music like um, other bands like Alice in Chains and Soundgarden, you know, those are the, those are the musical influences that I have. Um, Dave. Um. Personally, honestly, it's just, I think it was the Beatles. My dad played a huge in- influence on that. It was the Beatles and, uh, like, 80s music, 90s, you know, how it got really, really just ambient sounds everywhere and all types of instruments. That's what got me interested. And just seeing how, it, you know, band struggles and it's, like, surreal every, like how, what they go through to get to where they, you know, end up being 20 years from when they started. So just the whole experience, whole, I guess. There you go. There you go. Very cool. So uh, uh, last question I have for, for you guys here tonight. Uh, let's talk about Mud River, obviously, moving forward. Uh, you guys got a lot of stuff going on. And, and also, I, I just want to say uh, it was great uh, playing your tunes here on the, you know, on the Triple Threat match. Uh, getting you out there, and uh, obviously your fans responded, um, you know, feverishly at times uh, with phone calls and things like that. And I, I think it's great oh, yeah. that uh, that there's you know the one the one great thing about doing these uh, doing this triple threat match is that you know you can really if the fans are really into the band, and this is what I've seen with a lot of the bands that are champions, and even some of the bands that don't quite win but they got fans that will go in and they'll shoot the emails out and they'll make the phone calls and they'll get in the voting polls and stuff uh tell us a little bit about your fan base and 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 um you know what what they mean to you as far as you know being able because obviously the triple threat match is just one of those things uh obviously you guys are getting into some other stuff i i think i saw some stuff of like uh playing warp tour and stuff like that uh on your page unless i'm i'm looking at something different but um, you know, what's it like to kind of, you know, have your fans be uh, this into you guys where they will go out, where they will come out and they'll, you know, they'll support you in those ways as far as, you know, getting votes. And I'm sure on the on the flip side of that, actually, you know, going out and supporting the band when you guys are playing live. Yeah, well, Jim, I got to tell you, 
the rule would be anything without uh, social media and stuff like that, you know, that makes us just completely crazily intim- intimate with the people. Um, we've, uh, we've persisted. Uh, Bernie does a lot of uh, postings. He run it through us and his messages, and, you know, we'll post stuff up, and people are starting to, re- you know, react to those posts a lot faster. Um, that's, you know, we I think that's the main reason why we're... Uh, you know, going ahead and uh, getting different stuff, you know, like, like I said earlier, we got the uh, Dawson by Clayton, uh, Silver Fox, and Explore Apparel. And uh, all that was done, you know, like, food work and just them seeing that we were active with people, you know. And we got a lot of new things coming up uh, this next month, uh, interactive where, uh, you know, they go into the webpage and... There's actually, you know, like a little um, Easter eggs, if you may, on the page itself. If people click on them, they, you know, they'll automatically get signed up or ask them to sign up and we'll send them something for free. We got stuff like that coming up and uh, flash games. <laughs> those, those are really fun. But, um, I don't know, Joe? Yeah, that, that was the, that has been the most rewarding part of this um, uh, whole band thing, seeing how much, you know, uh, people respond to the music cover on, in, and I was surprised to see how many people would call and they would call and say, hey, I call for you guys, we love the music, and, and, you know, it's not just, you know, your immediate friends or your immediate family, it's, you know, people from uh, different cities, um, people that maybe you haven't met in person, but they love your music, and, mm-hmm. and that's a way that they show their support for the music, and that has been very um, overwhelming at times because when you write music and you write the lyrics for it you do it because you love it and as a, as a band as a group um, you're having fun playing the music and, and you put it out there and to see people respond to the songs uh, that just makes all the work that you know goes goes with it being a band worth it traveling practicing coming up with songs recording them, you know, having to promote, you know. There, I mean, really, there's no money in, in this business, but you do it because you love it. And right. and having people respond to the music, that really makes it all worthwhile. Even if there's not one person in the crowd. It just makes it Abs- absolutely. I know exactly what you're talking about there. Uh, <laughs> but, guys, it's it's been great getting a chance to chat with you guys. Uh, and anything that we can do for you in the future – uh, you guys have my email address and stuff like that, and we're on Facebook and stuff. So absolutely, let us know what's going down, and uh, we will, uh, you know, we'll definitely help you guys out any way we can. Uh, and for those, we're going to be playing the song "Inside Your Memory." We're going to date. Well, we actually have been playing it here on SA Rock for a few weeks because we were supposed to have you guys on, but uh, we're going to actually debut it here on Rockcast tonight. Uh, but you can check out Mud River at ReverbNation.com/MudRiverTX. Or you can go to facebook.com slash mudriver3. And, uh, again, anything I can do for you guys, it's great. Uh, real quick, before we play the song, if you guys want to do a short promo for us, just saying who you are, uh, the band, and you're listening to the Jim Santora show, that will be great. Yeah. Hey, this is Dave from Mud River, and uh, you listen to the Jim Santora show. Enjoy it. Hi, this is Joe, bassist for Mud River, and you're listening to the Jim Santora show on SH Rock. All right, very cool there. So with that, we're going to crank up some Mud River here. This is Inside Your Memory on the Jim Santoro Show Rockcast on SH Rock. We're just a little off-center.
That was Mud River, Inside Your Memory, on the Jim Santora Show, Rockcast on SH Rock. We're just a little off-center. Once again, ReverbNation.com slash MudRiverTX and uh, Facebook.com slash MudRiver3. Uh, great guys. Uh, and uh, I, I, for, for any of these bands that are in a triple threat match to come in here, our goal is to support the independent artists, and uh, we believe that we do that. And uh, the fans and the listeners... Uh, you guys all play a part in that also. So for that, we got to thank all the listeners as well uh, that crank it up, support the independent bands, and also your votes to support those artists. Whether you were already a fan of that band or just a fan of independent music, uh, your votes count as well uh, that to show that you support uh, these bands that we play here on the Triple Threat Match.